So we've seen that observers in different inertial reference frames will measure different time intervals for the same pair of space-time events. So this is weird and maybe a little unfamiliar or uncomfortable. So in order to start to wrap our heads around this phenomena, we're going to leave space-time for a little bit and just focus on space, an ordinary map. And we're going to develop a couple of concepts there, geometric concepts in the, in the context of maps. And then we'll end this unit by starting to take those concepts and bringing them back into space-time and seeing what they tell us. So let's look at a map, an old-fashioned map of space, not space-time. So this is a map of part of New York City, and um, I chose this for several reasons. Um, one is that I was lucky enough to grow up in this part of New York, and I've been thinking about it a lot because it's, um, or New York in general, not necessarily this part of New York, is one of the epicenters for the um, COVID-19 um, epidemic. Uh, and also, I chose this because Manhattan's laid out in a really nice grid, but the grid isn't perfectly north and south, and that's going to make it really useful for the example that I want to do. So let's zoom in on this portion of the Upper East Side of Manhattan. And I'm going to focus on two locations. The first is um, a Chinese restaurant called Tang's Garden. It's going to be right here. And um, it's known for having really good cold sesame noodles, a, a dish that's a New York City specialty. And then the other um, place we'll focus on is over here, H&H &H Bagels, which is one of the best bagel shops in New York. Um, there are lots of good ones, though. Um, uh, so this H&H &H is over here. And just to make the example clearer, even though it's not right on the corner, let's imagine H&H &H is right on the corner here. So what we're going to do a couple different ways is describe how to get from Tang's to H&H. &H. So in New York, we would often say this direction is north. I mean, it's not really north. That's north but we take this to be functionally north. Sometimes we would say this is uptown, and this we could call east or crosstown. So that describes a coordinate system. So let me draw that on in red, I guess. So the y-axis is gonna go straight along 3rd Avenue, and then in this example, the x-axis to be crosstown or east-west, it's going to go right along 76th Street. So there's a Y, and there's an X. And then I could use these coordinates to say, where is H and H with respect to Tang's Garden? So we would say, all right, go up five blocks and over one block, go north five blocks, east one block. And that would give uh, coordinate values for H and H. So let me do that. So X would be one block and Y is five blocks. So the Y position is up five, X is over one. We could also describe this um, in terms of meters. And if we did that, it turns out that this is about 415 meters, and this is about 217 meters. And I got that by measuring it on Google Maps using their measure distance feature. So we could also say, go 217 meters north, New York City north. Uh, sorry, go 415 meters New York City north and then go 217 meters New York City East. Okay, so this is the position of H&H &H in New York City coordinates using Tang's Garden as an origin. All right. Somebody else might come along and be offended by this notion of north. This isn't north. North is north. New Yorkers may think they're the center of the universe, but we don't get to define north. So let's have a different system where north is actually north. So let me draw that on. 
So then um, this would be my y, actual north. And x would be actual east-west, not New York City. It doesn't line up with the grid, but it does line up with what everybody else thinks of as north and south. So then, um, in this coordinate system, what would I measure for the position of H and H bagels? Well, I could read that off the graph. I could go down here, and this would be my x-coordinate. And I could go over here, and that would be my y-coordinate. And again, you could measure this distance on Google Maps. You can measure this distance on Google Maps. And if you do so, you will get approximately this. Let's see, x is now around 390 meters. And y is around 263 meters. So the New York City coordinate system would say 217, 415. That's the location of H and H. And the non-New York City north is north uh, coordinate system would say the position of H and H bagels is 390 meters, 263 meters. So the coordinate values do not agree. Different coordinate systems give different um, coordinate positions for the same physical location, H and H bagels in New York City. In the same way, different observers in different inertial reference frames might have different times and positions for an event in space-time. So again, to summarize this example, different coordinate systems, different sets of axes, will give different values for the same point in space on a map.